Hi students, in our previous video, we had discussed about the Ellingham diagram. Then we continued about the positive slope, negative slope and also the line which is going in a straight manner Why they are going on. That is, with increase in entropy, the number of moles of the gaseous particles are increasing. So, along with increase in temperature, when the entropy is increasing, the delta G is getting negative value. Then only we say the reaction is feasible. Now, we are recalling the same with one more additional point. See, when does the delta G of the reaction will be negative. We got here delta G becomes negative in the following conditions. This is the point that we had already discussed but once again we are recalling. If the delta S is positive what is meant by delta S? Change in entropy is more means when you are increasing the temperature the state, the solid state is changing to liquid state, liquid state is changing to gaseous state. And in the gaseous state, when the number of moles of gaseous particles are increasing, that is the point. If the delta S is positive, on increasing the temperature, the value of T delta S. In the previous class, we got this equation, delta G is equal to Delta H minus T delta S. The value of T delta S is increasing. So that delta H is less than T delta S. For example, in a reaction, delta H value is around 50. We say in those reactions which will happen by absorbing the heat, what are they called? Endothermic reactions. For them, what is the sign to indicate the delta H? It is a positive. So, I give a positive 50 value. When we increase in the temperature, when we increase in the temperature, what was increased more? Entropy has also increased more. It became positive. It became more. So, it is saying that T delta S is increased. This is a rough value at when. When T delta is around 100, whereas delta H is only 50. In order to satisfy this point, delta H is less than T delta S. Then what will be the value here you will be getting? 50 minus 100. How much will it be? Minus 50. Means what is happening for the delta G? Delta G is getting a negative value. That is delta G is becoming negative. If delta G is becoming negative, then only reaction will be a spontaneous reaction. See, thus delta G becomes negative on increasing the temperature. Yes, on increasing the temperature is the main condition here. This is the point we have already discussed in the last class. Now the additional point that we are getting here is let us observe one equation of the point where a metal oxide is converting into metal. What is the point? Metal oxide is converting into metal. I am using the example reduction of iron oxide. What is meant by reduction? Reduction of iron oxide. Fe2O Reduction of iron oxide What is meant by reduction? Loss of oxygen Here you can find 2FeO is the reaction It is giving rise to give 2Fe plus O2 What happened in this equation? Iron oxide was converted into iron and oxygen gas So we can say 
iron is undergoing reduction. When we observe the Ellingham diagram, how is the Ellingham diagram obtained? By plotting delta G with temperature we mentioned. This delta G can also be represented with the value delta delta G negative minus RT ln K. Our delta G can also be represented as minus delta G negative minus RT ln K. Where K stands for equilibrium constant. K stands for the equilibrium constant. T stands for the temperature. R is the gas constant. Wherever we are increasing, means the equilibrium is shifting towards right hand side. That is reactants are converting into products. When do the will be shifting reactants to products? When the reaction is a spontaneous. When do the reaction will be spontaneous? When the Gibbs free energy is negative, then only reaction will be spontaneous. Means the other way for representing of delta G is the delta G negative. So we are plotting the delta G negative value with temperature. Delta G negative value with temperature in the Ellingham diagram. In the Ellingham diagram. What is the equation I have written? Reduction of iron oxide. FeO gives us to 2 Fe plus O2. Last time we got these three lines we are discussing. C plus O2, say O2. CO plus O2 gives us to 2 CO2. Whereas here I had simplified to only one line. What is the claim means? Here you can find the 2 Fe plus gives 2 FeO gives us to 2 Fe plus O2. I have started somewhere the reactant. But when it is converting into product, that is 2 Fe plus O2 gives rise to 2 FeO. Your reaction is 2 FeO gives rise to 2 Fe plus O2. But here it is an inverse reaction. The sign indicated for this reaction is means at this point, at the formation of FeO, the Gibbs free energy, negative Gibbs free energy is minus 341 kilojoules more inverse. If the reaction is 2 Fe plus 4 is equal gives rise to 2 FeO. But I am repeating the point again. This line is indicating. What is this line indicating? It is a positive slope. It is a positive slope. The 2 Fe, which is a solid state, it is reacting with gaseous oxygen to form a solid form of 2 FeO. Solid form is entropy is decreasing, dissonance is decreasing. So the line became a positive slope. But our reaction is a reverse for this one. For this reaction, what is the Gibbs free energy given at? Minus 341. At this point it is minus 341 is the Gibbs free. When we are having a reverse reaction, we need to change the sign of Gibbs free energy. Shall we write Gibbs free energy as plus 341? What is the Gibbs free energy for this reaction? Plus 341. When does the reaction will be spontaneous? We know the reaction will be spontaneous when the Gibbs free energy is in a negative value. But when, when, how did we got here? It is in a positive value. Now can we say the reaction is spontaneous? We cannot say the reaction is a spontaneous. For this, what we are doing is we want to reduce the metal oxide to metal. But in a positive value it is not possible. 
For that, we are using an reducing agent. We are using a reducing agent. That is, we are using the coke. What does the coke will do? Coke will gain up the oxygen. How many oxygen it will gain? One carbon will accept one oxygen. But we cannot write an oxygen free in, so we are writing as they tell me. Oh. In order to balance, we are taking two moles of coke are reacting with one mole of the gas. Here, how many moles of gas substance are there? Only one mole is there. They are going to give two moles of carbon monoxide gas. In the phrase, number of moles of gaseous substances are more. What is happening for the entropy? The equation has this. From here to here, there is a decrease in slope because the entropy is increasing. When entropy is increasing, with increasing temperature, on increasing the temperature, if the delta S is getting positive, how to represent the Gibbs free energy? The Gibbs free energy becomes negative. Gibbs free energy becomes negative. For this reaction, they absorb at this point the Gibbs free energy is around 447. How much it is? Minus 447. Minus 447. See, 2C plus 4 to this rest to 2C O. 2C plus 4 to this rest to 2C O. The Gibbs energy is minus 447. We are going to reduce iron oxide to iron. Means we must remove this oxygen. This core is going to gain up that oxygen. Shall we call it is acting as a reducing agent. What is it acting as a reducing agent? What do the reducing agent will undergo? Reducing agent will undergo oxidation. Observe, its negative Gibbs free energy is minus 447 kilojoules mole in mass. In order to complete this reaction, we need to sum up both the half cells, half reactions. Oxidation has Reduction half, half reaction and oxidation half reaction we need to sum up to give the overall reaction. When we see what are the common in these two reactions in the reduction reaction, here we had O2 and in the oxidation reaction also we had O2. When we cancel them, we got 2 if we O. Plus 2C gives us 2. 2FE plus 2CO. 2FE plus 2CO means in order to reduce iron oxide. Once we add the O, what is happening means the net gives free energy for the overall reaction. It is becoming negative. Whenever the Gibbs free energy is negative, we say the reaction is a spontaneous reaction. The reaction is a spontaneous reaction. And at high temperatures we mention, what is the temperature around which the reaction takes place? The reaction takes place around above this 800 degrees Celsius. Above 800 degrees Celsius. Here you can observe it is a temperature given as 1400 degrees Celsius around 1673 Kelvin. What the temperature around 1673 Kelvin. There, what, are, what is the point we can observe? We can observe the line of FeO, the line of FeO is having. The so-called positive Gibbs free energy. 
But what is the positive value of three forty? But the value of C O is a negative value. Is a negative value. And hence, when we sum up them, the overall reaction became a negative. That is around one or six delta G negative value. This will be if we have taken two moles of coal. But in this case, generally we represent the reaction as F E O plus C G slash two F E plus C O. How do we represent this equation as F E O plus C G slash two F E plus C O? Compare this equation. There are two moles each. Reactants and products. Here, reactants and products are only one mole each. So we must half of that part. This will be delta G negative is equal to fifty three kilojoules per mol. Come to the conclusion point here. If the coupling of two reactions, that is reduction and oxidation, this is reduction and oxidation, results in the negative value of delta G for overall reaction. Negative value of delta G for overall reaction. Then we can say. The delta G is becoming negative, which is indicating the reaction is a spontaneous reaction. So, how is the iron oxide reduced? The iron oxide is reduced by coke. The iron oxide is reduced by coke. Hence, we use the iron oxide to reduce the sorry, we use the coke to reduce the iron oxide. Whereas the coke itself will be oxidized to carbon monoxide. Coke itself will be oxidized to carbon monoxide at above the one six seventy three Kelvin. Let us continue taking another example. We got another Ellingham diagram continuation line. The point here is different from the reduction of iron oxide. The Ellingham diagram I have separated into two parts and we are getting the diagram. But basically, this all will be combined into a single diagram only. Now, in this Ellingham diagram, what things are we able to observe? We have the delta G negative values of the kilojoules mole mass versus the Solid form is converting into liquid form, which results in 
more increase in entropy more increase in the entropy i hope you got the two lines what they are a simple slope positive slope indicates that there is increase in entropy but when a positive slope suddenly increases towards the positive further more it is an abrupt increase in the entropy there is change in state takes place liquid maybe solid is converted to liquid solid is converted into liquid now let us get the point here we got a question at what conditions could magnesium reduce the aluminium what is the question at what conditions could magnesium reduce the aluminium previously we discussed coke can reduce iron oxide coke can reduce iron oxide if you observe the above line and below line this line is having some delta g negative value and below one is also having delta g negative value what is our condition the line have more delta g negative more delta more negative value more negative value of delta g can reduce can reduce the less negative delta g can reduce the less delta g negative here it is at the above line here it is at the below line this is having more delta g negative that is negative form it is in a more negative form when it is in a more negative form it can reduce the less negative form it can reduce the less negative gives free energy line up to when this can reduce what we are going to conclude is please observe here it can have up to abrupt change below below this intersecting point i am calling as the point a below this intersecting point that is below the 1300 degrees celsius please observe 1200 1400 
differences depends upon their negative display energy values. So these are the two main reductions that we have learned in the ending half diagram. And finally our conclusion is how to reduce the iron oxide. The industrial application that is extraction of iron we will be discussing in the next video. Thank you children.